So the writ petition filed challenging the dual citizenship certificate of Gotabe Rajapaksa was examined at the Court of Appeal today. We are now joined by News First Sulfik Farsan for an in-depth update of this. Thank you, Tausha, and good evening to all our viewers. Well, the WIT application seeking a stay order on accepting Gotabe Rajapaksa's dual citizenship was taken up for consideration at courtroom number 301 at the Court of Appeal this morning. Now, uh, the consideration of the submissions was postponed to tomorrow afternoon. Now, petitioners Garmini Vyangoda and Professor Chandragupta Tenura cited the Controller General of Immigration and Immigration, the Commissioner General of the Department of Registration of Persons, the Internal and Home Affairs Minister, Ministry Secretary Gotabe Rajapaksa, Ex-President Mahinda Rajapaksa, Acting IGP C.D. Vikramaratna, Senior D.I.G. Ravi Seniviratna, C.I.D. Director G.S. Abhay Sekura, and C.I.D. Special Branch O.I.C. Lalit Disanayaka as respondents. Now, today, appearing for the petitioners, Attorney at Law Suren Fernando, seeking interim relief, said, the purported dual citizenship document is nothing but a blank piece of paper and it was not even issued in a manner it should have been issued. The petitioners claim on the 18th of November 2005, when the presidential election results were announced, then Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa was immediately made president and the cabinet, parliament and the ministry secretaries ceased to exist. The petitioners claim, therefore, no one can sign for the secretary as the person did not exist. Further, counsel said only a minister can sign the document and at the time, the sixth respondent was not a minister, but simply the president adding a person with no authority had signed the document. Counsel further said a person who is not a Sri Lankan being elected to office would pose a threat to the sovereignty of the country. Now, Senior Deputy Solicitor General Nerin Pillay, who appeared for the Controller General of Immigration and Immigration, said documents concerning the dual citizenship of presidential candidate Gotabe Rajapaksa were unavailable. Now, President's Counsel Ramesh De Silva, appearing for Rajapaksa, argued these documents had been destroyed by the Immigration Department. However, the Senior Deputy Solicitor General uh, countered the argument, saying documents had not been destroyed despite setting up a computerized system at the department in 2007. Now, President's Counsel Gomesh De Silva, appearing for other respondents, said the petition is made on political grounds and should not be even entertained by the judges. Counsel appearing for Rajapaksa filed preliminary objections, questioning the jurisdiction to hear the case when a police investigation into the matter is still underway. Now, the petitioners argued the certificate of dual citizenship of Rajapaksa is invalid as it, issued, as it was issued when a cabinet of ministers had not been functioning. However, Attorney General's department making submissions to court had said the president is authorized to handle the affairs of any ministry when a cabinet is not functioning. The case is being heard before a judge bench comprising of appeal court president Justice Yasanta Kodagoda and Justices Arjun Obesekwa and Mahinda Samia Vardana. It's back to you, Tarusha.